The box sections are ready for your project. The gaskets for sealing the joints have already been installed. The trucks are loaded and they are headed to the job site. So what about the installation techniques? That's what you'll learn over the next couple minutes in this video. After unloading from the delivery trucks, the boxes are ready for installation. No additional joint preparation work is required. Once the location for the boxes is determined, it's time for the trench to be excavated. As the excavator is digging, he will need guidance from the crew in the trench regarding how deep to excavate. Once the proper depth is reached, stone is placed into the bottom of the trench for the leveling course. The stone is then leveled to grade, which is checked by laser. A level, smooth, and solid base is required for a proper installation. Now that the trench is ready for the box installation, the lifting hooks are connected to the inserts embedded in the top of the box section. The section is then moved over the trench and lowered into place. Care needs to be taken to ensure this section is oriented precisely in the trench with the correct alignment. While not shown in this video clip, it is important to inspect the joint for debris or defects prior to installation. The bell and spigot should be brushed off prior to homing. Do not apply any lubricant to the gasket or joint. Once the first section is in place, and after each subsequent section, the trench is excavated away from the box sections already in place to make room for more. Again, the stone in the trench floor needs to be prepared carefully to a smooth and level base. The next box section is then lowered into the trench and set as closely as possible to the previous box section with the joint in alignment. Once in place, the section needs to be pulled tightly together in straight alignment with the previous section. This should be done from inside the boxes using a come-along, hydraulic jacks, a winch, or some other suitable device. The installation crew attaches hooks to the end of both sides of the box unit. The cable is tightened, and the section is slowly brought together until the joint is closed. Here is a quick view from outside of the box showing the pulling apparatus used in this installation. These top and side views show the chain still tight at the top of the box. This slight upward lift by the crane or excavator is important as it helps prevent dragging stone into the joint at the bottom edge of the box section, which could lead to the gasket rolling or the box not fully homing. Once the joint is completely homed, which means gaps around the perimeter of the joint of less than half an inch, the chains can be removed from the top of the box and the crew can prepare for installation of the next section. All of the joints should be tight with no more than a half inch opening and the trench is ready to backfill.